Hi everyone. We keep getting a lot of questions about people asking how we vector our logos. So today I'm going to make a quick video showing you guys how to do that. First thing we're going to do is open up Adobe Illustrator. Once Illustrator is open, we can go up here to File and open up our raw scan. I have my embosser logo raw scan here. With the raw scan open, what you'll want to do is go up to File and you're going to create a new template. I changed the units to inches. It's just easier to manage that way. I know my logo is square, so I'm going to go ahead and make a square. Size here does not really matter. Now that I have a blank new template, I can go click back over here on the raw scan. Once you have the selection tool ready, you can click and drag the logo over to the new template. So this is a little bit small. I'm going to make it larger. You can click and drag it over to the corner and then grabbing the corner here and holding down shift to make sure it stays scale. You can enlarge the logo. Now, now that we can see it a little bit better with the raw scan here, you can see some pencil marks in through here, some finger smudges, and you can actually see the color of the paper is kind of a cream tone, and the black ink just isn't quite black enough. Vectoring it's going to fix all of that. So we'll go up here to the window, open up the image trace option, go ahead and extend the advanced options here, and up here you can see that there's presets. There's a few different um, pre presets here. We usually go with sketched art. It works about 99% of the time. As soon as you click on it, it starts vectoring and voila. Here we have the vectored logo. If you come up here to this little eyeball icon, you can click and hold to view the source image. Here's the scan. And when you let go, you'll see, you'll see the vector. That way you can kind of compare. I'd like the lines a little bit bolder here, so I'm going to increase the threshold. All of these advanced options down here, you can mess around with a little bit and decide what works good for you, as well as the preset options. These lines look nice and bold. All the defects and flaws are gone. And I'm really happy with it, so it's good to go. We'll go ahead and save it now. And I'm going to save this one as my logo vector. It'll be saved as an, an Adobe Illustrator AI file. Once you hit save, you'll this um, Illustrator options will open up. They're preset options. They're usually pretty good. I've never had to mess with them. So just go ahead and click OK. And there you have it. You've made the vector.